Chairman. Uh, this presentation will be about the contribution of sentinel node biopsy in early stage cervical cancer. Sentinel node is the first node which trains a tumor, and status of this node is representative of the other nodes. Early stage cervical cancer is a good candidate for sentinel node biopsy because involvement of a node is a major pronostic factor in early stage cervical cancer and determines the treatment. A pelvic lymphadenectomy is systematically associated with radical hysterectomy. However, fewer than 20% of patients have node metastasis at this stage, which means that the lymphadenectomy is unnecessary in the over 80%. Second, lymphatic drainage of the cervix is mainly through the parametrium and the internal iliac territories. This area is systematically sampled at the time of radical hysterectomy. But there are also other pathways towards the presacral, internal iliac, common iliac, and paraortic nodes. Also, the presence of nodal micrometastasis may influence the prognosis. Some papers have reported that patients with micrometastasis had a higher risk of recurrence when compared to patients without micrometastasis. And most of micrometastasis are only found by immunohistochemistry, which is ultra-staging. And at last, routine pelvic lymphadenectomy causes lymphocells and lower limb edema in up to 25% of patients, particularly when radiation therapy is also used. So, we conducted a prospective study to assess the value of sentinel node biopsy in early stage cervical cancer. We used a combined technique associating preoperative injection of technetium 99 and intraoperative injection of blue dye. The detection was performed by laparoscopy. Expected drainage areas were those sampled during routine operations, and other areas were considered as unexpected. This slide shows where we found the nodes during laparoscopy. Most of the patients had sentinel nodes in the external iliac and interiliac area. But at least one sentinel node was found in an unexpected location in 38% of patients. And sentinel nodes were only found in unexpected locations in five patients. Now the interest of ultra-staging. 26 sentinel nodes were positive in 21 patients. Eight of them contain only isolated tumor cells. And six were diagnosed only by ultra-staging. Eight of the nodes contain micrometastasis, and one was found only by immunohistochemistry. And 10 nodes contain metastasis. So overall, among positive nodes, 62% had only ITC or micrometastasis. And among patients with positive nodes, 62% had only ITC or micrometastasis. And of the 21 PN1 patients, patients with positive nodes, 38% had the diagnosis made only by ultra-staging. Three patients had positive nodes in unexpected territories. The first patient had a micrometastasis in the right internal iliac area. The second patient had a micrometastasis in the left common iliac area. And the third patient had a metastasis in the left interiliac area and in the paraortic area. The conclusion of a study is very simple. Other patients included three at detection failure requiring lymphadenectomy. Two were negative and one had several macroscopic metastases. Of the 126 patients with at least one sentinel node detected, 21 were positive requiring lymphadenectomy. And in these patients, sentinel node technique improved the lymphatic mapping and ultra-staging. We had also two false negative cases and this patient would not have had the lymphadenectomy they needed. On the other hand, 
lymphadenectomy could have been avoided in 103 patients. So the conclusion is that targeted node bi biopsy could be more relevant than full node dissection and less aggressive. Thank you.